I am sending this message not as a politician, but as a patriot of this country. Never in the history of our nation have our citizens been so fearful of crime. The war is being lost, and it is getting worse. We are now experiencing the highest crime rate ever. The attacks between the government and those opposed to the government is not helping to remove the problem. And the nation cannot wait until 2025 to have this national crisis rectified. It is with this in mind that I recommend what is required now is a call for solutions and not just elaborating on the problem. This can turn around. It is difficult, but not impossible. I may not be a part of this government or their political party, but I find no joy in our nation being under siege, as no one should. It is with this in mind that I have written to both the Honorable Prime Minister and the Honorable Leader of the Opposition to set our political differences aside and let us work together to stem this dangerous tide. We can do this. The team that worked with me previously can get this done. We do not need a post or positions. I have the capability not only to guide those in authority to do what is required to peg back the criminal elements, but also to bring together a team who previously worked with me to manage a similar scenario and get it done again. I did it on two occasions successfully. It was not by chance that as the Minister of National Security in my last year, it was the lowest number of serious crime in 31 years. It wasn't by chance in my last year as Commissioner of Police. It was the highest reduction in violent crime in 25 years. We must act now, as our nation is drowning in blood. The enemy is not the political opponent. It is the evil, heartless, cold-blooded killers who are depriving you, the law-abiding citizens, with your right to safety and security. This is not a time to be blinded by politics. Prime Minister, Leader of the Opposition, I recommend we meet to discuss the implementable strategies that worked previously and to identify ways to provide the support and expertise required to respond to this current crime crisis in our country. Towards this end, I have sent official correspondence to both the Honorable Prime Minister and the Honorable Leader of the Opposition, seeking dialogue and solutions to help you, the citizens of this country. Having a regional crime conference that could do so much, but, own, but not definitely not in the short term. If we want quick wins, we must have internal dialogue with the relevant stakeholders as quickly as possible. We await your response.